a history lesson. Command Veldrum. It's reopened. This evening, we went to Command Veldrum. It's built in uh, 1900. It's one of the oldest Veldrums, outdoor Veldrums, in the world. All right, in the whole world, and uh, it was made of concrete. Up until very recently, it's been dug up and it's been completely resurfaced uh, with a far more user-friendly surface. And the hazard, which was around the outside, which was basically like, well, it was like you had these barriers with like concrete, like proper proper concrete pillars and the the hazard was if you were riding on the outside up on the bank and the bank's not steep like it's just like quite a shallow gradient you're riding on the outside if something happened there was a crash and you'd go into one of those posts well yeah you get the picture we are what you can come in the deep tight on your own feeling Oh, for it. 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 Oh, I'm not quite sure the facts of this Veldrum, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little history lesson. So tonight was like this this gathering. So we had Welsh cycling there, we had sport wheels, we had um, the mayor, we had you know lots of people who um, had supported it, got behind it, and put the money into getting this thing together. And it the official budget was six hundred thousand so just over half a million pound and we were there tonight for the opening i went along it was me anthony it was a few other guys from binya yeah. it's in your come spring that's what he said yeah i was talking about sunday league in the winter and the tuesday night league midweek yeah midweek league and when there's data because it can't race on the road like it's so the weather's good it was a nice evening it rained we also had Scott Davis there and Amy Roberts, who held the ribbon out for um, for the cutting ceremony. And uh, it was great to see them both, particularly Amy, haven't seen her in a long, long time. She rides a Wiggle Honda at the minute, and uh, obviously Scott, um, I didn't come through the ranks with him, but he started a lot earlier than me, and he's obviously signed for Team Dimension Data for 2018. So congratulations to you, Scott. Well done not going to be the most accurate information I'm about to give you but it is going to be a Wikipedia source that's fairly accurate right the command of Veldrum is 405 meters long it was officially opened on Easter Monday 1900 it's believed to be the oldest outdoor Veldrum made of concrete that is still in continuous use over the last few years it did get to a point where it was starting to get a little bit like a more of a health and safety risk. I went to the official launch of the project that they were going to start, and uh, I was so happy to be there tonight. You know, I had nothing to do with you know the opening of it, but what I did like was that I was able to mingle with everybody and just be there with friends and not have like an official kind of role to play. I, I quite like that sometimes. I like being able to step back.
My arms are wrecked. <laughs> the great thing about the great thing about Command Velodrome is that because it's so long, there's actually room in the middle of it, as in the grass area, to to do things. So you can uh, hire it out for like. I know there's a fireworks event coming up. The Commanding Quins play there, the rugby team. Uh, you know, the pitch is used for festivals, carnivals, that kind of stuff. And it's great to see that it's still being used for other things because it, it's inside Commanding Park. I mean, that is kind of the hub of Commanding. And for anybody who, who ever comes in, it's like right next door to the Tesco's. So you can park in the Tesco's. Obviously, you can buy something in the Tesco's. That's not a plug for Tesco's, by the way. And then you can, like, you know, just walk up the steps, which is like 100 meters from the Tesco's, and check it out. So if you're ever in the area, check it out. You've got to look for the one. Bob, don't let him in. And I know that you can hire it out, so in future you will be able to hire a coach, you'll be able to hire um, the venue and have both fixed gear and kind of freewheel normal road bike sessions on the track. Um, there's stuff there to hire. Uh, there's bikes that are higher, there's coaches to hire if you can't provide your own coach for the session as in like if you Like say with Binia for example, we've got a few club coaches that we can disperse at the local sessions and the idea is that um, the Grandstand which is obviously there for the rugby um, For the rugby games you the changing rooms inside you can then use hopefully to have a shower, you know, get changed and everything if it is particularly wet like it was tonight. So there's plenty to look forward to and there's plenty more to come. So hopefully in a few weeks, possibly, I might even get a chance to ride on it. And it'll be great because the last time I rode on it was probably six years ago um, when I was a junior. And um, I've got some good memories.